Okay. <clears throat> so like I said in my last video, I'm picking this Zarker J55. I did see Chris Capoon pick a J55, I think it's called an S, and I think the only thing that's different is it has a shackle guard on it. So, I kind of studied his video. But don't worry, I'm just as lost after studying it as I am beforehand. And I also have been drinking, so. Let's see how this goes. Okay. Unlocked. Locked. Now I had something to turn that stuff. What did I have? Oh, that's right. I was using... My tensioner from Lawlock Tools. So, I turn all those all the way. Is that everyone? Yeah, it looks like everybody. Okay. So something I learned when I was initially picking with this was that it's really difficult to just pick like this. I ended up putting two washers on the end of this. And that helped steady it. So let's see how I do. It's been a few days since I messed with this. Oop, that's a bad start. I was going the wrong way. too far. That's the one that I set. Oh, I see. I wasn't even. All right, yeah, hold on. Let me start that over. Yeah, there you bugger. Alright. Reset everything. Okay. Oop, sorry. Didn't mean to hit you all. Alright. Focus. There we go. Redo. That felt good. Not too far. So I found I let go of it and I lost the disc. There you go. I found the disc again. Something went wrong. I didn't mess the disc up. <clears throat> See, I'm still learning. Okay. So I like to find the hole in there between the discs. When I find that, I take that and just hit the disc and then find the gap, go a little bit into there, and then I'm on the disc. Oop. I don't know if I slipped off or if I think I went into the gate. Okay. 
There's the next one. I don't think that one needs to be set. Alright, I'll put that one back. I don't think I'm at the back of the lock. Maybe I am. Alright, let's find the other gap. I messed something up someplace, I think. Alright. Worst part is trying to get this thing back out. Especially when you mess up. There we go. I think I'm there. Oh, oh there goes. And what? Yeah, so let me reposition this lock. Holy cow, I'm seven minutes in already. Set everything to. Actually, it didn't break nothing. Okay, still works. Hurts to check. Looks good. <clears throat> okay, take sixty five. I'm just going to put that one back. This doesn't feel like anything. Where's the gap? There it is.
That's weird. Why is it feeling like that? There we go, there we go. that's where the gap should be. I think that one's set. Oh, I got it. It's the second time I picked this. I hope I keep hitting you guys, I apologize. What's that, 11 minutes? That's not too bad. There you go. Picked. There it goes. I don't think there's any way to cut this. Not that I'd really want to cut this because. What do we got in there? Oh, that just goes straight down. Yeah, I don't think there's a way to gut this. Not non destructively anyways. I know I've seen Bosnia and Bill pull those things straight out. <clears throat> yeah, there you go. I picked it. So things I've learned with this is I need some sort of spacer to keep everything kinda even. And it's just getting in there and Find, figuring out how to find the discs. I've been kind of sliding it in. When I find a gap, I know there's no discs there. Then I'll slide it forward until I hit something. Then I find the hole. Slide a little bit and find the disc and see if it moves. If it moves and it's all gritty, that usually means it doesn't need to be picked. If it's kind of moving smooth and then it pops into a spot, then it's picked. So that's what I've learned so far. I'll have to get more locks and see what I can do with this thing. But there you go.